For standing splits, you'll want to make sure you open up your hamstring and hip flexor beforehand. Go ahead, lift one leg up. So the hamstring enables the back of this leg to be more stretchy and this leg to be more straight and the hip flexor enables this leg to lift higher. All right, with the hips open, it's easier to get the leg higher up, so that means his top hip is uh, above the bottom hip, but for some folks this can cause uh, compression in a way that's not healthful for the lower back or for the front of the hip. So the hair, squared hip variation, roll this hip back and this hip down, is a more conservative variation of the standing split. Another way to get deeper, go ahead, push the floor away with your hands, is to use that root to rise. So you're pushing the floor away from you with your hands and there's a rebound of energy in the lifted leg. All right, we can also use the wall as a prop. So go ahead and come into a split position with one leg up the wall. All right, so we'll demonstrate first the open hip variation. So he's backed up close to the wall trying to get this leg straight, and this hip is a little higher and he can get way up there, and again, he's pushing his hands into the wall with that rebound of energy lifting up. Once he's done this for a while, we're gonna start to lift the standing foot's heel up and pull the hip skyward, and then go ahead, push the hips toward the wall at the same time, deepening the stretch and intensifying the whole thing. Go ahead, do that again. Slow it down, good. Try to keep the hips level as you go in. There you go, that's it, pause. Keep this guy lifted. We'll hold for another five, four, three, two. All right, that's enough. How's that feel? Amazing. Amazing. Namaste. <laughs> <laughs> uh.